So, this is it. We're finally here. 27th of February, 2022. The very first On The Flyer TV Winter Classic. There's 24 anglers today. Out of 300 people that have tried to qualify across the UK, there's 24 of the best anglers in the UK here today fishing for £7,000. We have England internationals, England world champions, Fishermania champions, and multiple Fishermania finalists. So without further ado, let's get this event on the go. Right, so you join us with Cameron Hughes here, a local tackle shop owner and fishing extraordinaire. You all right, Cam? <laughs> yeah, sound you. Yeah, I'm all right, mate. Right. So, obviously, you're in the final today. Yep. 300 anglers, 24 down today. Yeah. So, tell us about how you qualified, mate. Um, I think it was my third qualifier. First one made a mess of it at... Uh, no, sorry, my first one was at Riddins. Didn't draw so well. Sean won that off that 27. Second one, drew a flyer at Birchass. Made a mess of that. <laughs> <laughs> And the third one, it was when that day when me and you and each other fished terrible. Oh, yes. Um, I think there was only two in my zone to qualify. I had three pound and I think 12 ounce was second or something. Uh, uh, no yeah, one it, was, else had a fish. it was a hard, hard day, mate. That especially yeah, hard for me because obviously I didn't go through. I had to yeah, watch you beat you. me, but <laughs> you beat me no, next peg and didn't qualify. That's fishing, mate. That's but, uh, so today, obviously, peg 30 on the boards. Yeah. Not, not the greatest to no, draw. I, d I don't think I can frame up up against it to win the section even with you know there's I think there's Lee Wright, Andy Mays in my section he's next to me but I should have a day's fishing you know it's a nice day I'm out the wind slightly if it picks up it'll be across me but you know it'll be all right I can, and I can see all the good pegs so at least well, I'll see some fish being caught the, you've just hit the nail on the head there mate like in your section alone I, everybody's in a section of depth because of the caliber of anglers yeah there's some good ones here uh, yeah. I mean for me obviously I'm biased but this final we've got obviously yourself England internationals Sean Ashby world champion Jamie multiple fisher winner it, it's mental to me. Yeah. I mean, just to think that 24 of you guys and a competition you don't normally, obviously you see the commercial boys in normally one or international natural anglers, but this has brought you all together. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm really interested to see how yeah. it's going to pan out. Yeah, it'd be all right. I think, well, so where I am, there's some roach as well, or there was, there has been, haven't yeah. You had it the other day, I had some big fish. So, you know, there's, there's still a chance because it's fishing and you and never they swim, really don't know. They, they yeah, swim. They've got fins, yeah, they've got, you just feel like those, Especially with the conditions today, they can fish the best pegs. They've got the wind off the back, so it'd be nice and easy. See all them little bites, and but it might not be a good thing. You might need the ripple, bright sunshine, and you know this bank where it's not been so good could be could throw a surprise up. But and we're fishing a little bit later, fishing till four. Yeah, um, so a later. No, so hours. plan for the day, mate. What's your plan? Um, got got to start on feeder. Um, probably, I'm not sure if I'm going to start on a maggot feeder. Just try and get a few bites or a ground bait feeder and out for a skimmer. They haven't really been catching them anywhere on feeder. No. Off, it's not. It's just something to do when we pole line settles, to be honest. Um, I'm going to fish 14 metres with ground bait and maggots, and then I'm going to lose feed some casters at 11 metres. I don't think I'll catch much there, but it's a resting line. You, you know, it's. I've been a few times. I've drawn one real good peg, and that just looked after itself. But the others, you catch, get a few bites, then you have to move because you can't keep yeah. them coming. They just won't settle. I, th um, I think that's the thing. It's just it, no two days on this place are the same, so it's just going to no. be so interesting yeah, to see how it goes. Right. Yeah, so it should be all right. Obviously, mate, seven grand for a final place. Yeah. What are you going to spend it on? <laughs> well, I'm going to try my best to win, but uh, I'm sure Kirsty's already spent it. <laughs> Children will be having it, won't they? <laughs> well, best of luck, mate. Thank you. Speak to you soon. Yeah. So we've got uh, Sean Ashby here. Doesn't really need any uh, introductions. Former world champion. Sean, where have you drawn today, mate? Peg nine. Not the best, but you know, you never know on this lake. The Grimace says it all. The Grimace says it all, but the wind's changed. It's, it's an east wind blowing into that bank. You know, you've got to be looking, you know, catch, catch seven or eight decent fish. You never know where, you know, what's going to happen, really. That's the thing in here, isn't it? I mean, we've mm. seen it before. Them eyed, them do, they do show the yeah. three pound. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and some bream as well, isn't there? Well, Stephen Robinson obviously was on peg four the other week. He, qual he, he not qualified, sorry, he won his section with yes. four fish, didn't he? So, yes, I mean, he did, yeah. like you said, there is some big fish in there. Yeah, yeah. Anything could happen. Yeah. Um, tell us about where you qualified. Qualified at the Riddins, a little little fishery near, um, near Tamworth. First time I'd ever seen it, really. It's a nice lake, full of little skimmers, end up with. 23, just won the section with 23, 12, I think it was. Cracking weight though, wasn't it? That yeah, lovely winter. place, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was on peg, you were 27, 27, yeah, 27. it's a good peg for the section. It's the right end. But you've still it? got to catch him, mate, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, so, absolutely, yeah. So yeah. today, obviously we know you've drawn not a great peg. What's no. your plan? Plan is really just to fish for like 10 bites. 
We're just going to fish for big fish. On the, are you going to plan on feeding? No, we're going to fish a long pole and just try and keep it tight and get 10 bites, 10 fish, 20 pounds. Well, like you say, mate, you can, you can only do what you can. Yeah, fish yeah. swim, so we'll have to see. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, there was one top this morning when I got there, well, so you never good know. Good sign. Also, mate, seven grand. Seven grand. What are you going to spend it on? Most people say they're going to spend it on the missus. I'm going to buy a Rolex. <laughs> Well, mate, you've I, probably got a couple, have you? Well, yeah, obviously, mate. Yeah, <laughs> from all these matches. So, no, mate, mate. I wish you all the best of luck. Yeah. But one question I've got to ask, obviously, world champion, former world champion. Do the nerves still show in matches like these, or is it just? Um, I wouldn't say it's nerves, but you just, you know, it's a, it's a different match to a normal match. But it's not. I don't get nervous anymore now. I'm afraid. It's not to be sniffed at, is it? Seven Definitely grand. Though. Seven grand's a lot of money, especially for us natural. Uh, silverfish fishermen, we ain't got the fisher manias and that, you know, you've got this. Well, you've got this and this will be great, hopefully, with the likes of you guys coming every year, we're going to try and grow well, it and grow, grow it. definitely, so. yeah. So. yeah. Very, very much so, yeah. Good luck, mate. Cheers, Gary. Thanks, Cheers. mate. So, we're, uh, here we are with commercial angling superstar, Matty Dawes. You all right, Matty? Yeah, all right, pal. How have you gone on? So, where have you done today? Uh, I'm on peg 17 today, so it's on the bottom bank. How many I'm times have you fished here? I only come here once, I would do, I think I drew peg 33, but... Oh, you were on the boards, were you, yeah, last time? Yeah, yeah, quite windy that day. Caught a lot of roach, but I think it changes every time. So, to... what are you thinking? Just trying to fish long pole, one line. I think, I think the fish are too big in this lake to start chopping and changing, I think. You've got to set your stall out, just feed maggots long, bit of ground bait. Sit there, a couple of light rigs, got through the water rigs and one bulk down. So, hopefully, just sit on that one line. The, you've hit the nail on the head, though. The thing is, there's a lot of big fish in here, isn't there? Yeah, if you, if you they... get amongst them eye, do, the two to three pound, it's, I mean, David Goff on the last match, peg 14, came second with 19 pound. Yeah. He's on your bank. I mean, it, this bank last match, which was Thursday, just gone, it fished a lot better than what people were thinking. Yeah, yeah, when so, it's like 15, 20 pound, which is good silverfish weight, when the fish are that big, you don't need many bites, do you? You could have like eight to 10 pound of roach and last 30 minutes catch three for seven, eight pounds on bream. There's loads of tents, just all sorts. I just. I don't want to make it difficult for myself, chucking a feeder, waggler, short pole. I just want to sit on that long pole, take my chance, and if it happens, it happens. It's one of them. You've and got to fish your plan, haven't you? Well, getting here, mate, you qualified at Riddings. Yeah, brilliant day. Just fish long pole, pellets. Pellets, nice wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, dead simple, one line. It's one line again on that one, I think. The, the thing is, mate, there's just been just under 300 people that have entered this competition. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, there's 24 of you here. You've got world champion, former world champions. Yeah, yeah, you've got Sean. Fishermania, uh, sorry, Fisher, we're. Your finalist, aren't you? So. Yeah, once, yeah. you got like Jamie, Andy, it, Sean. It, it is, Wick. Nerves affecting you? Do you get nervous? Nah, nah, just smash one, it up, one mate. Line. Nah, one line, take your brain out, it's your peg. <laughs> <laughs> so, seven grand, mate, not to be sniffed at? No, no. Finger. What are you going to spend that on if you win? Well, probably Mrs. will have hold of it. Probably I think everybody's just, seen the yeah, same yeah. thing, mate. So. Just put on your house, so. Well, mate, hopefully, hopefully you'll be all right. It's not, like I said, it's not, it's not the end of the world draw, mate, and nah, nah, you it just can don't produce. Know. So. Just don't know. No, Good luck, mate. Cheers, Speak to you later. Thank you. So, here we are, Darren Bickerton, affectionately known as Bicko. Keeping it in the family today, Bicko, you brought your brother with you as bank runner? Yeah, mm. yeah, bank watcher, sitter, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, can't be doing much walking, but... So, you qualified at Riddings, mate? I did qualify at Riddings. Left it to the last minute, didn't you, to that, qualify? That, that's correct, yeah, yeah. I Tell us about lake. it, mate. Uh, I was on, I don't know the name of the lake. <laughs> folly, Folly. I was, folly. On, I was on the Folly pool and I had... Uh, I had about 40 or 50 skimmers. It was a very difficult day. I can't remember what I weighed, 15, 16 pounds. 15 pounds, pound. wasn't it, something like that? But yeah. you, I mean, you, 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 well, I think you qualified by about three pounds, didn't you? Some, something like that, yeah, yeah. I was uh, I was in control most of the match, to be honest, that day, you know, because I was catching straight away skimmers and uh, the sun was awkward, the wind was awkward, you know, and like, they're very delicate feeders, but I just caught some skimmers on pellet. You know. Nice so, day. Because of the way we drew today, you were the last one to draw. I, I mean, I mate, come on, 22. I quite, uh, I quite fancied this peg, to be honest. Uh, last time I drew it, a year ago, I, I did win the match with Skimmers. It's you a know, very so. good informed peg at the minute as well, obviously, and yeah. with yourself well, on it. The, the thing is, with 24 pegs on the lake, there's a, there's a lot of people. So with a peg like this on, on a point, you have got a lot of room yeah. and you've got nobody interfering with you. Yeah. You know, so there's a few pegs like that on this bank. That's why it is good at the moment, the, the way it is pegged for 24 anglers. Do you fancy it? Yes, I do. Well, you, well like I say, it's been, of late, it has been a good peg. So you're the people's champion, mate. You finally made it through. That's your nickname now. Yeah, thank you. If you uh, get the seven grand, what are you going to spend it on? I don't know. I'll, I might go on holiday or something. It's just changed to you, though, isn't it? It's fair change to a man like you, mate, that is. Oh, no. <laughs>
<laughs> well, mate, listen, best of luck. Thank you. And very I'll much. see you with the all out, mate. Yes. So, here we go. Familiar face to everybody from uh, Catch More Media, Tom Scully. How are you getting on, Tom? I'm really good, mate. I've drawn a nice peg, a peg I actually practiced on the other week. It, it and, is a uh, lovely peg. It is a lovely peg. I couldn't ask for any more, really. What's your uh, plan for today? I'm just going to attack it, to be fair. It's, um, when I practice around here, there were a lot of fish around this end. Uh, a lot of mixed fish, a lot of roach and some bigger eyed and, and bream. So, you know, for me, it's a positive approach. I'm going to loose feed quite heavily on two pole lines and we're going to see what happens. I, I think you've hit the nail on the head there. With these, with these obviously, this is the final and, and you're here to win, really. Hmm. And especially when you've been put on a peg with half a chance, I think you've got to go that positive. The, the time for, um, like, holding back and just been watching what you're doing I, I, it's not the time for that is it you, you've got to try and win that money on these finals so tell us where did you qualify i qualified at birch house lakes it was oh you did qualify at birch house yeah, yeah. it was um, lovely peg on it which it was yeah well it was a, a nice peg yeah i mean i had some good info off jamie he put me dead right well, he told he, me he's been catching a lot of fish on pellets so i went and fished a really negative pellet approach pretty much exact opposite to what i'm going to do today yeah so, we'll and you, yeah you, you won you actually won the match that day didn't you i did yeah i did uh, I think it's 17 pounds. Nice day's fishing. So, mate, I mean, I spoke to the other lads. There's three, just under 300 of you that have tried to qualify for this. So, I mean, there's 24 of you today. So, everybody, I mean, obviously, rightly deserves the place here today. Do you get nervous? Um, no, not, not nervous as such. Listen, I've. Professional angler, mate. I've been around a long time and I know with this sort of match that um, if it's your day, you'll win. If it's not, I'm just. You know, I'm, I'm confident I'll fish against, fish against anybody, but some brilliant anglers here. Darren, as you say, you know, um, probably one of the best anglers in the country, yeah. Darren Bickerton on and, the next peg. And he knows this um, lake. But, you know, I don't let that phase me. I, I've beaten him before, I can beat him again. It all depends, doesn't it, on, uh, on what happens. And we've got to get it right, which is, is never easy in, in, on any conditions. Clear, bright conditions today. You're going to be a bit of faffing to be done, I think. But um, and you've, you've got to be positive and you've got to try and win, like you said. You've got a pretty good, decent uh, bank runner. If he carries on fishing, he'll be pretty good, won't he? And, uh... I've, got, I've got the best <laughs> bank runner going, yeah. Jordan sat behind me today. Yeah, Jordan. Um, Hello, Jordan. Just in the background there. So, yeah. Obviously, mate, seven grand not to be sniffed at. No, it's, what it's are you gonna, nice. What are you going to spend it on? Well, I'll have to share a bit with uh, Jordan and Matt uh, and uh, Godfrey. Yeah. And then um, the rest of it, what do I do with them? Good question. Fine dining, I'm thinking. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, Fine mate, dining. clearly you can tell... <laughs> I'm no stranger to that, mate. So. No, that's it. And a bit of country wear as well. well I like it. Mate, yeah, I have had the Michael taken out of me for today for this. But the only problem is, right, as you can see here, I was a lot slimmer when I put this on last time. Oh, so. you're, you're clearly a man of, of immense taste, a, dist <laughs> a distinguished gentleman. Look, can I just say, Gary, as well, listen, thank you very much for running this. It's been a superb event. I, I love to see new things spring up. And what I particularly like about this, and, and I know... Um, you know, I know, I know maybe other people think differently, but I love the final venue. I actually think whatever happens today, you can't predict. Yeah. The last match here proved that, you know, you can't predict what's going to happen here today. It's never the same. The it's facilities are great. There's a lot of big, interesting fish to catch. I'm really excited. And thank you for putting on a brilliant No, event. I really appreciate it. That's what I've done it for. Obviously, what I do like is, as you said, is that we, we haven't just got one discipline. There's not just commercial anglers here. You've got former world champion, England internationals. You've got starlet team members, natural river anglers. You see, obviously, people like yourself, Jamie, and that, I know you fish all over, but you've got Jamie Fishermania uh, champions. It's, it's brought everybody together for a competition, as I don't think we've seen for a, a while. And, it, and from what I've gathered, I think it is the biggest payout for Silver's Fish uh, Festival uh, competition. So it means a lot, mate, when somebody like yourself says that. So no, brilliant. best of luck, mate. Thank you very much. See you Cheers, all guys. out. Thank you. So we're here today. Now, I've got to bring this lad into it. Fellow Stoke boy. Where are you from again in Stoke? Bentley. Oh, you're from the rough end then? Yeah. I'm from the posh end. I'm from Biddle. Biddle. Yeah. <laughs> So, Mark Capewell, obviously, a lot of you that are watching this, probably commercial-minded, uh, you won't see this, this boy on them because he's more of a natural um, angler. I have got to say, joking aside, he's probably one of the best silverfish anglers I've ever come across. He beats me enough, and I've given him enough money. So, uh, Mark, it's a pleasure to have you on this today. Um, you. Where did you qualify, mate? Burton Farm. Burton Farm, on yeah. The spit, yeah. So, what peg was that? Uh, 33, I think. Tell us quickly about your day, then how did you get on with that day? Uh, basically caught a few bream. Yeah, well, you <laughs> sat on the worm. You, you say That's... that, but you, 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 you've you got good form there, mate. You've got, yeah. I think you've got the silver's record, haven't you? Yeah, £61, pound, yeah. So, I mean, you, you know what you're doing. Yeah. You? And like I said, people might not know your face, but without a doubt, mate, you, you deserve to be here. Thank you. There's been just under 300 anglers, 24 of you qualified, and you're one of them, mate. Yeah. So, I mean, you, you deserve to be here, fishing for seven grand. Um, today, where have you drawn? 24. What? Lovely peg. Lovely. You yeah. fancying it? I, I, yeah. What, yeah. What's your plan on this peg? 
Um, basically, just fish the pole. I haven't set the waggler or the tip up, just focus on the pole, three lines, short line and two long lines. Yeah, Keep it simple. You're in the right area, mate, aren't you? So, yeah. So, got to ask you, mate, is this the uh, biggest money match you've ever fished in? Absolutely, by far, yeah. So, what, what, that seven grand not to be sniffed at, if you walk away with that, what's that going on? Because I do know you love your hot tubs, mate. I've, uh, <laughs> we, we see enough pictures of you and your missus with hot tubs. So, uh, uh, well, I've had a bad week. I broke three sections of my pole on Wednesday on a match, um, six, seven, and eight. Uh, I've cobbled a couple of poles together for today, so. I think a new poll might be on the agenda. If your missus lets you. <laughs> She'll <Yeah>. let me. <laughs> so, got to ask you, mate, obviously the, the field of anglers that you're fishing against today, um, any nerves? Yeah, nervous as hell. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, you're handling it well, mate. And Thank listen, you. you just do what you do best and you'll yeah. be fine. So, Cheers I'll see good. you at the All Out, mate, and good luck. All the best. Well, here we are. No introductions. Jay, I'm just going to let you talk, mate. You used to be in the front of the camera. Yeah, well drawn and all that. You... And I've drawn... I've <laughs> drawn a weird one. A very nice one. I wanted to be in 20s, as every other fella did that's here. But I've drawn a weird one. I'm in Naughty Boy's Corner. 27. But it's not, is it? It's one that looks like it should be rubbish, but it isn't. No, it's... it is strange. I mean, Rich drew it last match, didn't he? Yeah, man. And won the match. Yeah. And I think he... Did he win it off the last time he drew it as well? He nearly had Andy. I think he's been on it twice and had been first and second with £30 and £20. It seems to be full of lovely big skin bobs, doesn't it's it? It's different fish, isn't it? That is the thing. That's me, me what I'm worrying about today. Is that it's not an eye peg, it's a skimmers and roachy peg, mainly skimmers. It's where the big old, the miserable ones like me live. I mean, you, <laughs> yeah. You'd live there, mate, wouldn't we, you? Mate, we'd where be we'd in that, live. We'd be in that. Andy would be like one of the, in the happy pegs. He's an eye, isn't he? No, no, Andy's an eye. Yeah, we, we'd be in that dark deep hole yeah. over there somewhere. Cheeky. But it, yeah. But, um, it, it's, it's a skimmer peg, and that's what I'm flapping about. Fancy it? Of course. Do you fancy it? I'm in the gang. I'm in the five peg match. I've got to be honest, mate, when you walked up to that draw, whew, full of confidence. <laughs> full, there was a swagger going on, Jay. You've got to be, haven't you? You've got to go, right, I've drawn the 20s. So what's your plan? So, um, for short and long way ground, but in pallets. That's well, Just ground do what you do. Mag, it's, just, yeah. it, it's a patient match, isn't it? You only need 20 fish, as long as the roach don't feed. I've got to ask you, mate. Stupid question, I know, because it won't be. Any nerves? No, not now. Only the drawing. I hate that bit. I think everybody does, doesn't it? But yeah, hate the drawing. You could have fooled me, mate, with that swagger, though. I mean, but you, you've done what you, you... No, you've, you, you've done no. what you said you were going to do. You've come and you've drawn well, and if there's anybody that's ever going to do any damage, mate, it's going to be you. Absolutely. I fancy you off that peg. I've got to be honest, when you do it, I thought... It's a chance, isn't it? Definitely, mate. Like you said, you got to be in the 20s and you've done it. I think so. But I don't know. The, the, the teens pushed it on Thursday, didn't they? The teens were actually yeah. second and third. Goff, Dave Goff pegged 14, I think, wasn't he? Yeah. With £19. Yeah. So, so I mean, and he's and he's drawn the same peg. Has he? Dick Goff is on the same peg again today. Yeah, like, so there's, there's, there's a lot of decent anglers that can catch some fish. I mean, I mean, I know you've fished fish shows, so it wouldn't really bother you, but the quality of anglers here today is insane, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's right, frightening, isn't it, as it always is? Yeah, I mean, that's, what, that's why there's 24, 24 of you, mate, out of 300. It's the best, well, I think it's the best, the best that have qualified. You all deserve to be here, but dropping the ocean to a man of your money, mate, seven grand, what are you going to spend it on? That. I'm not going to give it to them pair, haven't I? As always. <laughs> well, yeah. Andy's... Suck me dry, with you guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, mate, <laughs> thanks for coming, thanks for qualifying, and I shall see you at the All Out, mate. Thank you, mate. Hopefully we have lots of breams.
So, here we are, roughly the half stage point. Um, on the decking, as you've seen, big and daft behind me, Andy May. Not doing great. The decking in general, it's just not producing today. So, halfway point, probably about four pound leading this section, which we think is Cameron Hughes. Um, on the right hand side, which is the shallower end of the lake, which you want to draw in summer, but you don't want to draw in winter again, as we thought, it's fishing really hard. Um, best weight I've heard on that is probably Sean, Sean um, Ashby. I think he's had three eyed and probably admitted to six pound. But interestingly, on the last match on Thursday, um, Dave Goff, who drew peg 14 and won the, uh, came second on the match, again, halfway through, Dave's admitting to about eight or nine pound, which is ph phenomenal weight. He's running away with a section, I would imagine. Brad Parks on the next peg to him is probably not far behind with six pounds. We think he's had a couple of um, tench. So that section is anybody's at this point. Um, to be honest, I think unless the big fish show up in any of these sections, they're always going to be chasing those in the 20s that we thought would happen at the first place. So on 22, obviously you've got the People's Champion, Darren Bickerton. Um, when he's speaking to Lee, at this point he's saying probably eight pound. Um, Tom Scully next to him, um, Jordan, Jordan Allway, who we spoke to as his bank runner. Not far behind, six pound maybe, but he's having, there's a, there's a, there is a notice in the smaller fish that Tom's having on his peg. Same for Mark Capel, Mark Capel's had a decent start, but again, just seems to be amongst the little roach. But as always, Jamie Hughes on 27 at this point is probably admitting to 12 pound. So I would, I would say, in my opinion, that Jamie on 27 is probably winning the match at the minute. But it's halfway, anything can happen, and uh, see what happens. So obviously today is the On The Fly TV Winter Classic Final. Um, some of you may have seen on the Facebook post that we have actually got a charity of choice here. It's called The Speed of Sight. Now, Mike's here from, he was a co-founder of The Speed of Sight. Um, it is a charity that helps the visually impaired to experience, um, obviously, racing days and other events. Um, but Mike knows a lot more about it than me, so I'll hand over to Mike. Mike, tell us a bit about the um, charity. Thanks, Dave. Spirit Sight was founded and it's our 10th year anniversary next month and we founded it to give people with disabilities of all challenges the opportunity to 
to get behind the wheel, enjoy off-road and track day events. People we work with may have lost their license through illness or accident and they're not allowed, not allowed to drive anymore, but we give them the we give them the opportunity and the exhilaration to get behind the wheel of a specially adapted car on off-road and, as I say, racetrack events. We also work with children of all ages from 7 to 97. So Speed of Sight operates around the country, working with anyone of any age, any sex. So I'm not sure how many are these days. And uh, we look forward to being, being supported by this event. A fantastic turnout today. Really lucky with the weather and we really appreciate the kind of support and, and the welcome that we received. So thanks very much, mate. No, 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 not at all. And, and, and as an angler, obviously, unfortunately, I haven't qualified today, but as an angler, I think it's something that we take for, uh, for granted. Obviously, uh, I, um, my, I myself couldn't imagine what it must be like to be visually impaired and not to see that float going under. So it's absolutely fantastic. And let's not, let's not, you've been very humble there, mate. Let, let's talk about you for a second, because from what I've heard, you are the world's fastest blind man on, on a couple of things. Just tell me about that. Uh, I've been very fortunate to have fantastic support from friends and family. And I was able to uh, hold land and water speed Guinness World Records. And we're looking actually to try and do another water speed record this summer. That's absolutely fantastic. So not just on a car. I mean, t tell us briefly about this yeah. car because I'm, I'm useless. As I said earlier on, um, sometimes it scares myself when I stand up too fast, let alone get in a car. So um, what, the car that you brought today, what's, what's the situation with this? The car we've got today is on one of our off-road buggies. We also use it on the track. Uh, it's specially adapted with the, with the traditional uh, twin pedals, but we also, our instructors have their own steering wheel. This car's got hand controls in it as, uh, as well, so we can get as many people with whatever their challenges in life to have an interactive experience. Working, with, working as a team with the instructor, they get to drive a car, and for many people, they were told that they could never do it again or they'd never, they'd never do it at all. Uh, so it's very exciting for us, very humbling for us, but mostly and very extremely rewarding. Fantastic. So you've heard it there. Speed of sight, obviously doing great things for the visually impaired people. Just one more thing. We can't go anywhere without saying, uh, what's the dog called? Well, this is Stan. He's my guide dog. Stan the man. Yeah, and he's been with me five years now. Running the show. Absolutely. Well, it's been lovely to speak to you. And thanks yeah, for your buddy. time. Thanks very much.
So, here we go. First way in, Cameron News. Cam, what peg is it? Forget. Peg 30. Peg 30, so let's get it off. £15 two for Cameron News. Obviously, Cameron's an England international. Knows exactly what he's doing with these silverfish. That's a great weight for Miss Peg. So, um, on to Nandy May next. Um, it's had an odd day by all accounts. Not the greatest of pegs. Yeah, he's, he's, he's not had enough as Cam. So, um, Andy May. £7 free for Andy May. As Andy said, he's had £12 in the last hour, so Andy's um, out of contention, I would imagine. It's not the greatest of pegs, though, is it? It's not the greatest of pegs. Well done, mate. Well done. We've got Matt Page here. Um, another day. He looks like he struggled again. Struggled, Matt? Yeah. Not the greatest of peg. Not the greatest of peg. Peg 33. On the board, it's hit or miss. But it's not a great, it hasn't been the greatest of areas, mate, so... £3.11 £3 for Matt Page. We've got Dobby Mandale Jackson here. Another one on the uh, boards. Peg 34. Let's see how he gets on. Again, it just seems to be... Um, they're not going to catch Cam with, with this amount. £3.3 three. So we've got a Matrix-sponsored angler here now, Lee Wright. Um, again, not the greatest to draw on these decks, so... Lee Wright. Yep. Yeah. Ready when you are, Lee. Six fifteen for um, Lee. So here we have. Look, look at his look at his new clothing. <laughs> Terry, oh. Terry, do you want to tell us quickly about your sponsor, mate? No, Is it Kiev? No, Kiev. What's? <laughs> Just forget, right, so we're uh, Terry Goff, one of the nicest blokes I know. I didn't want to say that, I'm trying to be nice. Trying to be nice, trying to be nice. Drawn another stinker on peg four, to be honest. He has drawn a stinker. £3.15 for Terry Goff. So, um, Starlet's guy here now, um, Dean Sherrington. Dean, bad day? Not great, mate, yeah. Not, not a good peg. I've fished a sticky mag and waggler, and I've lost one one quality fish. Me and the chap next door got tangled up. It's fishing, isn't it? Let's see what you got, mate. Let's see what you got. Yeah, again, I know we keep on saying it from the, from the video at the minute, but all of these pegs are poor pegs, to be honest. All the anglers on here, in my opinion, were never in contention. But it does throw up some big eyes, so you, you never know. Six pound four. Six pound four for, for uh, Dean Sherrington. Rob's um, going to be a DNW again. It's it, it's a bad peg, so he struggled from here um, as we expected. So, but uh, listen, mate, you're still qualified. Oh, you're still yeah, brilliant, day. Good, good. Yeah, and we'll see you next year, yeah. Oh, yeah absolutely. Brilliant. Good, good. Andy Taft, his bank runners, saying uh, seven eleven with his uh, calculations. Let's see. Uh, this is Wayne Swinsco, yeah. So let's see a local legend on the rivers. Is that accurate? I've never been that accurate in my life. <laughs> see how you get on. It'll be about double that then, will it? No. Seven free. Seven pound free for uh, Wayne Swinsco. I've got to give it to you for that, mate. That's very close. So, yeah, seven pound free. So well done there, mate. Not just a pretty face. Jeff Robert Shaw on here. 20 pound back. Yeah, 20 pound a carp. Yeah. So he's, he sounds like he's been carped out. Um, hard day by the looks of this net. Yeah, it, 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 I mean, it's to be expected off this peg. Let's see if we can get a pound. That is a hard day, isn't it? That's a hard day. But, as I said earlier on, mate, you've qualified for a final at 20, 300 anglers. And, you, and you've qualified out of... Um, 300 people, mate, you're here, so we'll see you next year, though. Yeah, Up to Sean Ashby now. Peg nine, not a great draw at all, but uh, we'll see what he's got. Okay. 
It's not a bad catch from there, Sean. Is he? Eight pound four for Sean Ashby. So we're Wayne Root now. Peg ten. Oh, he's had a few there. That's not bad at all. This is Wayne, yeah? Wayne Rook, yeah. Ten pound dead. Well done, Wayne. Well done. Die with Dorking guy here, um, Richie Reynolds. Let's watch that pole section down there. Here we go. Oh, there's some fish in here. Well done, mate. Oh, these old tactics. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't worry. Do out to win. Do out to win these Daiwa boys. £8.13. Dave Goff next. Bit of anticipation with this one because uh, from what we've been told from his back runner, he's done all right. £14, £15, you think? Which is going to be leading the way so far. So... Uh, David, no stranger to this, Peggy, um, one off it on Thursday with £19. Yeah, there's... Yeah, you, you're going to be leading so far with that. There's, there's £15 in there. £18 dead. £18 dead. Brad Parks, Bradders. There's nothing more than I would love for this guy to pull £30 out. Top guy. Yep, ready. Yeah, no, there's, there's not. There's maybe £12 there, £14. It's not going to be enough. Nice tension there. That is a nice tension. I'm not so sure, actually. Whisper it. Richard Chapman here on peg 16. Let's see how he gets on. I think he's had a hard day by the sounds of it. Thirteen fifteen for Richard. Yeah, hard day. No bonus fish to be had. Matty Dawes here. Let's see how he's got on. Next to Rich. Uh, I think um, I think he's done Rich. Maybe. 16, 14, yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Just, uh, just 16, 14 for him. Um, Matty Dawes. Yeah, yeah, Rob. Rob's got in here. Rob, you were catching well earlier on. Did it die? Did it die? Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> Touch. Kiss of death. Yeah, Kiss of death. That, uh, Kiss of death. <laughs> Kev Carter. It's drawn a stinker of a peg, to be honest, on 21. Thank you. Keep it quiet. Ounce. Eight five. Eight pound five. Here's the one of the ones that we really need to know. Darren Bickerton. Peg twenty two. Looks like he's had a fair few in there. We'll see. <laughs> I'm not sure if he's going to have done enough with David Goff there. Can't see till you get out of the water, can you? But I'm not so sure that there's 18 pound in there. No, I'll tell you. 14.8 for you, Tom Scully. What a scalesman, look at that, zeroed in with perfection. Oh, he's had a lovely day. A lovely day. Lovely day. £17.15. Well done, Tom. Let's have a picture of you, Tom, please. Here we go, Mark Capewell. Local lad. Um, by all accounts, he was catching well at first, so let's see what's happened here. 
not many more to weigh in now before we find out who's um, who's won. But according to Daddy Chappers, he had a good start. Well, good mid of the match, didn't he? Oh, there's some fish in there. There is some fish in there. Come on, big green. That's the boy. What? Got any one nine? Got a picture. Here we are. Jamie Hughes. Been catching well all day. We all know what he's got to be, but it's whether he's got enough. Oh, this is going to be close. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Keep it quiet, boys. Yeah, 35 one. Yeah. Whitewash. Yeah. Whitewash. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Most definitely. Don't get you that way, mate. You're not in the So we're Adam Palmer. <laughs> Best peg in Derby, so let's see how he's got him. Peg 28. Oh, look at this. Marine can't even lift his fish out. Oh, wow. That's definitely in contention with a frame, probably. Yeah. 22.10, let's get a picture of him. In third place overall, and um, I'm going to love giving this guy this. He was dead nervous this morning when I spoke to him. One of the best silverfish anglers I know locally, Mark Capewell. Thousand pounds. And a fellow Stokey. <laughs> ben Tilly, isn't it? Yeah. Rough, rough. <laughs> so. Second overall, picking up two and a half grand, Adam Palmer. That's not a bad payday, is it? Sit when I make them. Look at that way. You give me back. Cheers, mate. And um, finally, first overall, picking up seven thousand pounds, Gary Rogers. Uh, sorry. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Uh, listen, I'm telling you now. I've just had an eye roll off my missus, so I know it's time to move on, right? So, Jamie Hughes. Let's have a picture for Daddy Chappers. Daddy Chappers. Yeah. So, here it is. It's all over. Finally done. Jamie, every time I've run a competition, I seem to have you at the end of it. So, listen, I'm not even going to bother boring people. Talk us through it, mate, because you've won £7,000. Well, I haven't, have I? I have, but... Well, <laughs> Well, it's because you have daft <laughs> rules when you split it with the other I two. Have, I have two very demanding friends, don't I? But anyway, regardless of that, yeah, I've had a lovely day, guys. I've, I've drawn 27, which we said at the start, Rich won off that the other day. So it gave us a, a lot of confidence. It's, it's, it's a weird one, isn't it? It's a nice deep corner that holds loads of fish. Yes, but apart from Rich, it, I mean... It, it, it's never been far off. Yeah. I it's mean, always just there or thereabouts. So I was dead happy when we peg. Yeah. And as soon as I started fishing, like I said, this place has been so weird. We put loads of time in. And every time we come, it's a different flipping lake with yeah. different different stamps and different no two species. Days here, they? Mate, it's unbelievable. It's so hard to formulate a plan. And I went in and I caught roach straight away, which made me think, right, little fish today, loads of bites. But being on that peg, I also had potential big fish because they always feed late on that one, it seems. Yeah. So I've had a lovely day. I've probably caught, well, I've ended up with 35 pounds. I reckon I've had 20 pounds of roach, just short and long all day, feeding loads of pellets and maggots. It's just been lovely. Personally, mate, as I've been walking around and watching you, the live updates will reflect that. From an hour in, you were leading the pack, and I don't think yeah. you've ever looked back. I mean, second place, what's that, £22? Yeah. So, I mean, you've taken it apart today, mate, and to be honest, like I said, <laughs> you're, you're always here on the end of the videos, mate, so I'm going to keep this short and sweet because we're losing the light, mate, and I know Definitely. you've got to get back home, but seven grand, 
first ever finalist, mate. Hopefully next year we'll be back to defend your title. Yes, bit of luck, bit of luck. So, and I've got to say that, I've got to go cheesy first, go that it is phenomenal, guys. For a competition that's brand new, first year, everyone sold out, that's unheard of. Yeah. It's been mega, mate. Proper, enjoyable, nice new venues all the time as well. But, mate, you've obviously... I have asked you for your advice as well because you know you know these matches and, and you've helped me through it. And but like you said, I think next year we can only just build on it, can't we? And That's it's been brilliant. Three hundred angles, just under three hundred angles, mate. Twenty four today, yeah. And you've walked away. And mate, I think I've, I've walked home fourteen out of twenty four. I've gone home with money in the pocket today. Fourteen well. out of twenty four, yeah. So it's I'm not bad at all. Next year, obviously, I'm hoping the final will be a bit bigger, so it might not be as many. Um, obviously, there'll be more people in the final, but the money will be bigger. So, yeah. but listen, mate, seven grand. Well done. Just got it for you. You got to split it, mate. That's all good. I don't mind that. Nice one, guys.